old friend. Pop, pop, we'll walk down the bridge. Woo brand, oh, nigga. I don't know what it is, nigga. So listen, man, we gonna keep it short. The first thing I gotta let you know, please put a like on the vid if you're seeing this, because boy. They done shadow banned the shit out of your boy so bad. Oh my goodness, bro. Videos not getting monetized. Videos getting 15 views. We in a crazy era right now. But listen, let's get straight to the point. I'm not going to drag it because they don't really be caring about nothing I be putting up anyway. We got we to gotta keep cranking these out till something hits. So the first thing is we're going to find the negative or the positive out of the negative. So the positive is the two gangs that destroy the community have come together and finally, you know, made peace. They've made peace. In Compton, they've made peace. So that's the first thing. If you watch a bunch of gang banging content or if you hear these guys talk and stuff like that, when it come down to like the real steppers and stuff like that, it's not like how you might live in a city where there's no gang banging and it's a bunch of street dudes and uh, the only killings be drug related and like, you know, po possibly click related and two clicks is beefing and that beef only lasts about three years. No, no, no. These guys be doing senseless killings, killing random people who are in other gangs and other gang territory and stuff like that. And they just assume that these other guys are in other gangs because of the color they wearing or the hat that they got on and stuff like that. And it creates a lot of trauma for the families, for the people who witnessed it, and et cetera, et cetera. So it, it, even the other gangbangers, it creates trauma for them and stuff like that, especially if you had an attachment to somebody that got killed. So with that being said, this is positive. This is positive that, you know, warring, you know, uh, gangs have finally made peace and hopefully... They can sustain this peace. So they doing a peace walk. Everything should be good. Who knows how long they've been beefing. They've been beefing for a thousand years probably. Now, the other thing that's ironic about this is that Chris Brown is a fruit town Piru. And when it comes to YG, I been knew he was a treetop. I never knew those two gangs were beefing. I never knew that. You know, they both Piru gangs, I'm pretty sure. So with that being said... I went and looked it up. They did a track together. So I guess it wasn't that deep. I guess it wasn't that deep. And the last thing I'm going to say is, even though there is some good to this, the bad is that everybody is still in a gang. And, you know, the gangs are nothing positive. We're not about to sit here and act like they some positive. Oh, it's brotherhood. No, y'all be killing people. Y'all be selling drugs. Y'all be engaging in crime. You know, and even if you're not doing that yourself, you know, you on the sidelines and there's still other people in the gangs putting in work and shit like that. So it, it, and that's another thing, putting in work. That's a concept that they have and stuff like that. And, you know, violence is one of the ways you can put in work and stuff like that. So what I believe is just universally, even outside of L.A., when it comes to the street culture with black people, it's something that really needs to be put down. It's something that needs to be minimized. It's something that needs to be absolutely destroyed. That's just 1,000 percent because we could then have safer communities. We could then go outside and shop and go to parties and not have to worry about getting shot or anything being shot up and stuff like that. It really is a detriment to our community as far as a lot of the, you know, street stuff to be going on. The L.A. situation is very unique because a lot of people can be violent and not even be touching a pack of drugs or nothing like that, which is very unique because in other cities that don't have gangs and stuff like that, that are not ran by gangs as far as all the street activity and stuff like that, you typically got to be in some type of drug situation or something like that, or you got to be a robber. You got to have some type of hustle, you know, to, pretty much end up on the wrong side of the gun and stuff like that or having people want to kill you and stuff when it comes to gang infested places like la and chicago you deal with something completely different where you got the serial killers who do random killings because of gangs and stuff like that but at the end of the day man 
it just makes the community worse and worse. And it's something that we need to get rid of. So not only does gang culture need to go, the gangs need to go, the, the, the drugs in the community need to go, all of that stuff. Now, this is just me being ideal. I know the truth. I know it's not going to happen. So if you're listening to this and you, you're around that shit and all that stuff, I know you're accustomed to it. Get out. Please get the fuck out. And I wish that all of y'all law abiding people, you just get the fuck out because trying to save the community, that's something that is uh, damn near impossible with the amount of, you know, thugs that there are and the amount of money you can make off selling drugs and the amount of adults influencing the youth to get into that. It's just a really hard battle to fight. It's a really hard battle to fight. So let me know your thoughts about.